Hello, YouTube. We're back for another video today. I'm Jake from Peyton B and their friend. And tonight, on this very cold night, we're going to be taking a look at some playing cards and sleeving them. So, let's get everything out of the unboxing box and let's take a look at our first thing here which is um these are um let me zoom in for you guys my poor viewers all right these are camel playing cards now some of you guys out here in the audience might be like what the hell but, let me explain. Okay, so, um, I don't know if they still do this nowadays. Realistically, probably not. But basically, used to back, like, before the 2000s, um, cigarette companies would have rewards programs. And... I don't know how exactly they worked, but, you know, you buy their products, you get points, you go through their catalog, and then you order what you want, and then you get it, right? Right. Well, um, recently, I think I might, you guys might have heard about this, um, Connie's Creations is going through the decluttering stuff, and she uh, decluttered all of her, um, camel stuff, which, uh, just disclaimer, okay, she does not smoke anymore, I don't know, I'd say she quit smoking, like, basically 20-ish years ago, so, yeah, don't smoke, okay, I don't support it either, don't, it's bad, okay, don't be like Sanji, um, yeah, I just got these, um, cards here, because she let me pick out whatever I wanted, so I, of course, picked out some stuff, and originally, I was gonna leave them in the pack, but as you can see, this pack is already, like, basically opened. And it's just getting all of this here that's exposed, like, you know, gross. So, yeah, we're going to free the cards of their plastic prison. And then we'll take a look at the designs. Which, full disclaimer... In here is another pack of cards in which I already opened because it completely slipped my mind that I could actually unbox this stuff for YouTube and people would seriously watch it. Or at least I'd probably watch it someday. But, yeah, I'll show you guys those cards. Don't worry, though. And, yeah, and I don't have enough card sleeves for both decks of cards but I um I'll probably go out and buy some more because these cards you can see by the copyright on here 19 oh camera please focus all right, 1994. This current year is 2024. So you know how long ago that makes that? Um, 30 years ago. Yeah, so these cards are 30 years old and have just been sitting stuck in the package for like 30 years now, which... They have been stuck so long, too, that they are, in the literal sense, stuck. Yeah. Um. 
So this was kind of the hard part was um cracking them out of there without um damaging them because as you can see by the way that I am pulling them apart they are just I don't even know honestly I'm not no physics expert so yeah you hear that crunch guys that is literally the sound of cards that have been stuck for too many years. Let's just say that. Alright. See? That. You guys might... Well. You guys might be worried that I'm bending the cards by doing that, but... It doesn't actually bend them. But you can see, too, they've got a little bit of damage from being in the package so long. Which is why I wanted to get them out so that they don't get any further damage. Um. Yeah, I see. Which... Honestly, they are kind of cool-looking playing cards, though. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> camel playing cards, guys. I mean, I don't know. To me, it's just kind of bizarre. The idea of cigarette companies, like, you know, the big tobacco, like, giving out rewards for, you know, slowly killing people. You know, like, incentivizing them in a way. Like, I don't know. To me, that's just absolutely bizarre. Hey, guys. Yeah, that is quite the noise there. Honestly, I have never heard cards make that kind of sound, so... That's why I decided I need to share it with you guys. Because, yeah, like that, for me, whenever I was unpacking these cards, that was like a very what the F moment. <laughs> like... I don't know, I just personally think, though, that these are quite the oddity. Because, yeah, I mean, also, how many people do you know who can say, you know, oh, well, I got a pack of playing cards from Big Tobacco. Yeah, they directly gave me these cards. Totally not to... Um, I don't know, I don't want to say inherited, but I guess passed down onto me. Like, yeah. Um, soon I will pause the video, though, to actually get these cards you know, um, loose and unstuck from each other because it does require fingernails, so, yeah. Yep. And that is something which I cannot do with gloves. I'm sorry, guys, but... As many things as I can do with gloves, there's just as many things that I cannot do with gloves. And I don't want to have to make you poor, poor viewers sit through me trying to get cards unstuck. So we will be right back. All right, everyone, we're back with all of the cards unstuck from each other and 
Yeah, they are, um... I mean, personally, I think they're cool, but... Yeah, they're just playing cards, like... Yeah, I'd say they're good quality, but... Other than that... Yeah, let's move on to the next thing that I'll showcase here, which is... Cards. Yep. Now these here, it's actually the same thing as these ones, but these have a different design on the back. As you can tell. Let me do a little comparison time here. So... Yeah, they're just the same thing, but different designs on the back, because also, too, if I look-see, there's that, and then in here, it's very hard to go through these with gloves, but yeah. So... Yeah, they are just the same art, but I mean, I mean, I don't know. Then again, most people probably wouldn't get multiple card decks, specifically camel ones, so yeah. And then if you look at the year on this one, too... You can do a little zoom in. Yeah, 1994. So since this is 2024, that makes it literally 40, not 40, oh my gosh, 30 years ago that these cards here have been around, and not only been around, but been still in their original packaging, slightly damaged original packaging, and just nobody opened them. I mean, guys, I, I really don't know what that says about our society, other than clearly, we live in a society. Yeah. Alright, and... Well, these assembled back. And what I'll show off next is not related much to anything camel. <laughs> yeah, I snuck stuff in the video. Ha ha ha. But, of course, I needed card sleeves for these cards. So I went to the local game shop and I bought some which while we was there as in me and my mom I mean Connie's creations um let me think here I know she asked about Catan sleeves which dude said he was gonna order and then I think next was Road to El Dorado which Guys, I don't do strategizing board games. Only strategizing I do is Monopoly. But, um... I don't remember his reply for that one, actually. And then next, of course, I had to ask some stuff. So I asked about Uno. <laughs> it very, to them, it seemed very odd... But then I had to say that I play Uno competitively. Which you guys on the channel know that I do in fact play Uno competitively. So, yeah. And then, last but not least, I told the guy I needed some, um, I think I said, um, card sleeves for standard cards. Yeah, you see, I don't really... I don't know, do these types of cards here have a specific name? Like, you can call them playing cards and such, but... In a trading card shop, is that really specific? Which, 
If you guys do want to know, yes, they do fit. I'll show you guys in a minute. Let's get this open. Which... I have bought card sleeves from this shop before. And, like, y'all, they got a ton of card sleeves. Like, they got a whole... Um, shelf. Not shelf. Whole wall. Not, like, a whole wall, but... You know, I'd say a good, like, um, I don't know, like, one-fourth. I don't know, it's a pretty good, um, chunk, though, of just different color card sleeves. <laughs> Which, I just wanted clear because I wanted the... Um, backgrounds on these to be visible, but, yeah, now I got that open. I have bought card sleeves from this store before, I think I already said that, but I didn't show you guys. This is the ones that I bought before, which I bought them for my One Piece cards, not all of them. I only put these on the Dawn cards, actually. <laughs> kind of a weird choice, I know, but... And then, as you can see, it's, like, half empty. These... These are also card sleeves. I don't know where I got them. I got them, like, years ago for Amiibo cards. I don't know, but... Yeah, these ones here... I used half of them, though, because for the Exploding Kittens um, game that me and Connie's Creations unboxed, um, yeah, she didn't want card sleeves, but then I was like, oh, but you need card sleeves. I was showing them to her, though, and she was like, ooh, the, the corner, they're pointy, the, the pointy corner, it's pointy, like. I don't know, I didn't think it was that pointy, like, good grief, she's acting like she's, like, gonna, like, get, like, killed from him or something, like, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I'm only slightly exaggerating, but, I mean, I don't <laughs> Okay, and then, let's get these open. Yeah, see, this is what a full box looks like. So you can compare that to this sad little one where I've already got most of them used. Um, let's take a look here. Take a look, see if I can get... Is this one? Yeah, it's one. Okay. But yeah, I'd say... Um, looks nice. I don't know, what are you supposed to say about... To, Clear card sleeve. I don't know. Is there really much to say about it? Um, well, let's... Uh, if I can grab one of these cards. Okay. Use this one. And... First, we need to... Um... Get it open. Or, well... Hmm. Watch a guy on YouTube struggle to put cards in a sleeve. I know, guys. Absolutely revolutionary content, if I do say so myself. Alright, did I... Nope, I did not. Nope. Okay, there we go. There we go. See? Isn't that nice? Now, the cards will be forever preserved. Um. Yeah, guys, I will be right back. I'm going to sleeve all of these cards and then I'll give you my opinion on what I think of them after they're sleeved. All right, everyone. 
We're back. All the cards are now sleeved. And now I'll show them to you. First off here at this stack. I just kind of stacked them up so that it'd be easier to show. Yeah, and then got our second stack. <laughs> Which, personally, too, I think these card sleeves look very nice. They feel nice. So, I think it was a good idea. Third card stack. Which I will have to admit, these are a bit slippery on my gloves, but... That's only because I'm wearing gloves. Fourth card stack. <laughs> then this here, this is the card that, not, well, it's not really a card, but. Hey, if you're playing cards, do not perform to your complete satisfaction under normal use. It will be replaced at no cost for you. Mail item to pool player playing cards, C.O. Fletcher, Bernards and White. Um, allow four to six weeks for replacement. This guarantee expires 60 day after receipt of merchandise. Guys, I think this might be expired, but it's a good thing I'm satisfied. Because if I wasn't satisfied, then I would not be getting a replacement, that's for sure. Alright, then got the king card here. Um... I don't know, honestly, this is like, this is reminding me of the Blues Brothers. <laughs> um, Alright, next we've got Queen card, which, you look at all the cards though, you'll notice that the Queen card here is the only one without a cigarette, which... I don't know, I don't know what they're trying to insinuate by that, honestly. Um, like, I know that was the 90s and whatever, but I don't know. Personally, I just think it's a little silly. Like, if you're gonna theme your card deck after camels smoking cigarettes, then all the camels better have cigarettes. I'm just saying. Alright, then we've got the... Man, I forgot what this is called. Um, I think the Jester. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't know, definitely very smooth looking. That's for sure. Then we got the Ace card. Is it called Ace? I don't know. And after this, I'm gonna need Ace Attorney. But, um, yeah, I'd say, um, I, I mean, man, like, the designs on here, they are actually, like, they are the bomb. It's just that, like, you know, um, like, the context of them is just, like, absolutely nuts. Like, I don't even know. Also, I'm sorry, but the guitar here being mirrored, like... This looks, like... They look freaky. Like, holy moly. Now, that would be a pretty cool-looking guitar, but... <laughs> All right, then we've got the Joker card in which, yep, we got the brand placement on here. That's for sure. Camel, 
filters. Sorry, I couldn't read the text through the camera, but... Yeah, oh my. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I, now I don't even know, like, what to say about this, honestly. This is just wild to me. Oh. Okay, um. Whoops, it seems like I put some of these upside down. Oopsie daisies. Alright. But, yeah, that's the stack, and then... That's not a card. And then, also there's this stack too. So, put our stacks together real quick. And this is all the cards. Now, full disclaimer, I might have screwed up while sleeving these. There might still be a couple cards stuck together. I will have to check after this video, but this should be all of the cards and let's give him a quick let's try to give him a quick shuffle if you guys want an update about that um uh, one piece starter deck that i unboxed um i have been putting it into good use going to One Piece tournaments, and, um, yeah, now, so far, I've only, um, won one match. Yep, just this one match out of all of, um, that I've played. I've been to, like, three tournaments so far, so, yeah. And that one match that I won, I actually wouldn't have lost it. If, um, the guy beside me didn't notice that I still had a counter card in my hand. Because, um, yeah, I did not know how to use counters. So, yes, thank you to that guy. Because otherwise, I would have lost. And then I would have lost. But, um... Yeah, that is these cards, and then I'm gonna see if they fit back in the tin. I'm not very sure that they will. Well, they somewhat do, if you just, you know, just <laughs> get rid of those cards, but uh, yeah, they will, um... As you guys can see, they won't be going back in their original tin, which... Okay, disclaimer, though, I'm pretty sure that this um, deck of cards here did not come in this tin. I think they came... This came with these, and I'm not 100% sure what these came with. So, yeah, I don't know, guys, but... Yeah, these will need to go in something else, which I'm a bit disappointed that they can't go back in there, but I mean, honestly, though, I'd rather have the cards be in the card sleeve so that they can be properly preserved, so. Yeah. But... Put these. Actually, I'm not totally sure where I'm gonna put those yet because uh, I have something else that I'm putting these in. So, let's. I guess we'll do a little roundup of all of our stuff here. So, we unpacked those. What? Oh my gosh, guys. Um. Yeah, magic trick caught live on YouTube. Um, yeah. Oh, I guess I should give a close-up of this tin, though, because... 
I think it's... Uh, I mean, I just personally think it's kind of cool looking. Hey. It's reflective. As you can see, so I better close that quickly. Don't want you guys to know that I'm secretly the invisible man. Because I can say it all I want, but without proof, nobody will believe me. And, well, um, let's see. Yeah, those cards. Those cards, those. And then, see, this is what it looks like on the inside after using basically half of these. Yeah, which, I mean, also, the art on these, like, man, that's some cool-looking stuff. <laughs> And then I guess I'll show this one since I did show it in the video, even though I didn't unbox it. And I didn't show any cards actually using them because my One Piece cards are in my backpack that I dragged to these events. So, this will give, um, yep. Okay, so, yeah, if you guys like the video give us a like give us a subscriber and comment down below about um um man what do i want y'all to comment about um man comment something about sanji because um man i don't know i'm i'm like man i'm like I might be catching, like, the simp feelings. Maybe. But, um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video where mostly I was just showcasing, but also unboxing. I don't know. And, um, yeah. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!